First, though, every day, 15 people in our region die from a smoking-related illness. This month, smokers are being urged to give up their cigarettes as part of Stoptober. Well, smoking is our biggest avoidable killer and is a huge drain on the NHS. Despite knowing the risks, many smokers struggle to quit. As Julie Harrison reports, the Stoptober campaign is aimed at encouraging and helping people to give up for good. The contrast between a smoker's and a non-smoker's lungs is stark. These are real human lungs on display as part of the Body Worlds exhibition at the Centre for Life in Newcastle. Michael Mordy has smoked since he was 14. He's tried giving up a few times, but after recently noticing an adverse effect on his health, he's taking part in Stoptober. Looking at these exhibits behind us, that's really brought it home today, but just seeing people generally with health problems in the street. Uh, I'm only 28 year old and I'm starting to get out of breath now playing with my nieces and nephews in the park and stuff so I've decided that uh, I want to do it now before it's too late to, to stop really. Despite warnings on cigarette packets many smokers either don't realise or choose to ignore the effects on their health. There is uh, nobody I think who gets through my clinic who, who, uh, who isn't told that cigarette smoking is bad for you. There's a whole range of, uh, of diseases that uh, you would not get if you didn't smoke effectively. You wouldn't get emphysema, which was supposed to call COPD. You effectively wouldn't get lung cancer. Strokes more common, heart disease is more common. More than 22,000 people in the northeast have taken part in Stoptober over the last two years. And health experts say that if someone gives up smoking for a month, they are five times more likely to quit for good. One in two long-term smokers will die from an avoidable illness, so it's hoped that Stoptober will have an even greater impact this year. The key thing is, is to not give up trying to quit smoking. You know, it will take maybe four or five times before you will quit for good. The, the great news is, is there's never been as much help for smokers to, to stop. You know, we've got fantastic local stop smoking services here in the northeast. Michael took up smoking at an early age. The Stoptober campaign and this grim display was enough to discourage other youngsters visiting this exhibition today from taking up the habit. I just can't believe how much difference there is between the normal lung and the smoker's yeah, lung. Yeah, from 20 cigarettes a day, it's just disgusting. And would you ever consider smoking? No, never, not after seeing that. No. Julie Harrison, ITV News, Newcastle. I highly recommend that Bodyworks exhibition at the Centre for Life. Now.